Finally, to the tennis court, three duels in the docket, but just one counting towards the standings. That would be Mandan and Jamestown. Braves playing their first conference duel of the season. So let's go to the highlights, the battles between the ones. Mandan's Carter Hotzenbuehler with the serve, able to go cross court. Too tough to return for Jamestown's Mason Lundsman. Point to the Braves. Later in the set, Lundsman shot. It's the net putting Hotzenbuehler out of position. And there is the winner for Lundsman on the near side. Moving to the twos, Brady Helbling of Mandan with the early lead going side to side, forces the short shot by his opponent. And it goes 1 0 on the year to start, winning 7 2. Over the non counter duels, Legacy hosting Minot, the top two teams in the WDA. Good battle between Sabres Anthony James, Minot's Grayson Schaefer. James with a nice winner there on the lob shot, taking the point. A little later in the set, Schaefer moving up the court, putting James on his heels, leaving the return short. Point to the Magi. Minot is going to go on to win the non conference match 6 to 1. Finally, Century hosting Bismarck in a non counter as well. Century's Jared Pitcher facing Tyler Wall. Pitcher moves up court and forces Wall to make a quick hit that sails out of bounds, giving Pitcher the point. Over at the twos, Bo Zander of Century against Bismarck's Roger Carolis. Xander with the speed and makes the ball sail out of play off the return, setting Xander up well to win the set. Patriots are going to grab the win 5 to 2. And I counted that is four different sporting events happening on a Tuesday night. We are fully back now in the fall season, and it's been exciting to start.